Hey everyone, I'm Boone, and today I'm going to take you through my workflow of adding music and sound effects to this map animation here. So in this particular project, I'm creating a map for a real estate client and basically showing Mexico here, and I show the different states and provinces, and then it kind of zooms in and shows the ports of export and then switches over to the railroads. Now the map already looks pretty good in my opinion. I think if I sent this off right now to the client, uh, they would be all fine and dandy and happy and I might get approved. However, adding music and specifically sound effects is just going to add that extra layer of detail that's going to pack that extra punch and make the visuals even better. I'm going to be using a resource called Artlist. This is a premium digital asset marketplace where you can get both high quality music and sound effects. The licensing is super simple and you pay a monthly fee. It's really easy. If at the end of this video you happen to like it and you want to sign up, if you use my affiliate link down in the video description, you'll get two months for free. Now my client is going to be using this map to try to raise money for a specific project. So it has to really hit a specific mood. So one of the first steps I can do here is really start to jot down some keywords and that's going to help me when I go into Artlist, I'll be able to search various tracks based on those uh, keywords and really narrow down what I'm looking for. One thing you got to be careful of with music is that if you pick the wrong track that doesn't fit what you're going for, you can immediately turn off your viewer and in this uh, instance it could be really bad. In fact, we could do a version of this with just sound effects and no music that would probably be even better. But Let's try it with both music and sound effects. So first I'm gonna focus on the music. So for this particular piece, I want to have an ambient track. I want the sound effects to be the prominent part of this particular video and I want the music to be just in the background. So I'll pick a few ambient tracks, I think. So I'll definitely search for ambient, maybe travel, transportation, maybe even technology, because some of the animations here, um, I might be using some data bleeps or notification pings and whatnot and I think um, some technology style tracks might work well with this. Okay, so here I am at artlist.io. Now with the plans, you can actually sign up for just a sound effects plan, just a music plan, or the two together. Now when I click on the side tab over here, I can specify if I'm looking for music or sound effects. So let's keep it on music. And then right down here, I can search by mood, video theme, genre, instrument. So first I'm gonna filter by genre, I'll select ambient, so I'm going to add just the ambient tracks here, and now I can see the keyword ambient up in the top here. Now we can go over to video theme, and maybe add technology as well, and let's see what we have here. Okay, so here's one called glass. This one's pretty good. Now over here you can see there's a couple of different options I have. I can add it to my cart, I can add it to a collection, or save it and even share it. So let's say I have my client right now and before, this, this could be pretty cool because before I even begin placing the music tracks or the sound effects, it might be cool to send that off to your client to say, what do you think about this? Because as I'm sure you've done once in the past is you edit something together and you pick a soundtrack and you edit to that soundtrack and then you send it to your client and the client says change the music which can be catastrophic a lot of the time. So this is a really cool feature. So I'm gonna actually add this to a collection and I've created a collection called Map Animation here, and I'm just gonna click on Add. This is a pretty long track, so what I can do is I can mouse over here. You can see I can just shuttle through here. Okay, I really like this track too, so I'm gonna favorite this, and I'm gonna go ahead and add this to my Map Animation. Now, if I click on the track here, I can bring up the specifics of the track, and it's gonna give me more, more information about the specific mood, as well as the video themes, the instruments used, and the genre. I can save out this artist right here. I can share the artist if I want. I can go look at the full album that this particular track is, is from, and then I can search uh, similar tracks. Now another cool way to search is that if you look down here, these are all clickable links. So I can go to building and city. This might be a cool one I can search here. So I can search building and city, and you'll notice up here in the top left still, I have those other two filters still applied, so if I want to remove those, I need to manually go and remove those, otherwise it's just going to keep narrowing it down and narrowing it down. So there's a lot of cinematic options as you can see here. So let's say I don't want anything cinematic, so I can go over to genre, and I can just exclude cinematic, and that's just going to wipe all those out and it shows it in the filters as well. So you can get really specific in how you're searching. Now one of the things you might want to be aware of is that these are automatically sorted by staff picks. So that's going to be the one that most people uh, download, so you might have the same track that a bunch of other people are using. So to avoid that, I like to go over here and filter by newest, then you can get the newest tracks and you can kind of come through here 
and you can see the ones that are labeled new, and maybe pick one of those. Okay, now I can go up to the top right and select library, and right under here, under collections, I have my map animation tracks, and you can see the three that I've added here. I've also saved a few of the artists, and over here are the songs that I've favorited. All right, so now I'm just gonna add all three of these to my cart. So now I wanna pick up some sound effects. So I'm gonna go down here and right down here it says sound effects. I'm gonna click on sound effects. Now I can get more specific with my keywords. I'm gonna search things like um, travel and then get more specific. So I have the port of exports there. I wanna download some songs of like boats, whether that's the horns of boats honking or the sounds of a port as well as trains, so I have the trains on the track, the horns of a train, as well as some data, some maybe some interface or some HUD uh, sounds of when the text comes up, I want some sounds for that. Maybe even when that camera is zooming on the animation, I can do some swooshes. So right here, I can see all these categories right away. Um, we have whooshes and transitions. So let's just go over to transportation. Um, now you can see even some of the subcategories here. So right here, it's already um, filtering this down by transportation, sea vessels, and then I can find something here. So there's engines. You know what, I'm just gonna clear all these and see if I can just do cargo ship. Okay, so here I have the engine hum of a cargo ship. So let's go ahead and save this. And I'm gonna create another collection. Let's call this one Boats. Okay, here we go, ship air horn honking. Okay, perfect. So this is what's cool, you have unlimited downloads. The other great thing about this is uh, the license. So the licensing setup here is seriously something to consider, especially when you're working with music. So. I have an account with, um, with Motion Array, and Motion Array is, is one of the best when it comes to um, After Effects and Premiere Pro templates and graphics and stuff like that. But they also have a, a sizable music collection with sound effects, and so the, they have a really good sound effects collection. The problem is, is that sometimes when you use their music tracks, for instance, I, I cut together this video and I was on a pretty tight deadline, tried to upload the video to YouTube. Basically, the music was claimed, and then I went on Motionary's website, and it says I had to whitelist it. There was all, like, this huge number of steps that I had to go through, and I basically had to wait um, to hear back. It was a nightmare, huge headache. That's what makes this setup so much better, is that all these are pre-checked for YouTube. So if you're uploading to YouTube, you can be sure that you're not gonna have any problems, nothing's gonna get flagged. Now, the other thing about that, I don't wanna be trashing Motionary here because I'm my partners with them, but Artlist has just purchased Motion Array. So Motion Array's huge selection of sound effects and music, many of which I've used for other map animations. They have a ton of cool HUD sounds and interface sounds. All of that is gonna soon be in the Artlist library. So I think that was like mid-December, so I don't know how long that's gonna take to transfer all those assets over, but their library is about to grow sizably. Okay, so I've got all the music tracks and all the sound effects inside of my project here, and I've added a bunch of audio tracks, so I have plenty of room to work. Now I'm gonna pull up uh, the track mixer. So I'm gonna go to Window and go to Audio Track Mixer. This is inside of Premiere Pro here. Okay, so let's break this down. First I'm gonna add the sound effects and then I'll add the music track at the end here. So let's do this piece by piece. So first I have um, two positions or two areas where the camera kind of moves in, and I'm gonna to try to see if that whoosh will um, will work there, so. All right, so I've got here, I'm gonna go down, and it's Dungeons Fire, so I'm gonna bring that right down here. Zoom in. Okay, and I'll bring that down to, let's do negative five. Okay, now there's another area down here where the camera moves again, right here. All right, let me just mute that. Now I'm gonna add, um, right at the beginning here, I have these, you know, all the opacity flickering in of all the different provinces of Mexico. So for that, I'm gonna go to these beeps. So I have the digital data beeps. Let's drop that in on track two and open that up. So there's three different types of beeps here. Let's just see what the first one does. That actually looks pretty good, but I'm just gonna trim it back to where the beeping ends. 
or to where the flickering ends, which is right here. And I'm gonna clip that right here. And now let's see what happens. And that looks good. Now with the swoosh. Okay, now there's a second area where when the camera moves again, this flickers again. So I'm gonna duplicate this one. Cool. Okay, so we've got some whooshes, we've got the digital beeps. And you know what, I think I'm gonna need to move this text. I'm gonna need to reposition or retime some of this text in my animation because it's just not working right now. Okay, so next I wanna add, I can add the same kind of data beeps for each of these markers. And let's see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, there's eight. So for this, I'm gonna duplicate this beeping here. And I wanna make sure that I only have eight of these beeps because there's eight indicators. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I'm gonna trim that down here. Now I've got three other little indicators here. So I think for this one, I might, let's duplicate this again and I'll bring that down. And I only need three, but these are timed uh, these are a little more spaced out, so I'm just going to isolate just one, and then I'm going to duplicate the one beep and see how this looks. Cool. Next up, I'm going to add some of the ambient tracks for the port, like the I'm going to add the seagulls and the boat honking and maybe some of the wind. So we have ship air horn honking, uh, ship sailing, ambience, distant waves. Let's drop that in right here. So the arrows and this animated right here. So I'm gonna have this dissolve in, or fade in. Maybe bring this down a little bit. Okay, now I have this huge, I have this huge ship air horn honk. Um, I'm gonna bring this way down, because that's just way too loud. Yeah. And then I'm gonna add some of the seagulls. Residential seagull, backyard, whatever, that's fine. Here they go, right here. Okay, so then both the seagulls and the horn are gonna fade out here. I would be using my keyboard shortcuts, but it's messing with my screen recorder. And now after this, I'm gonna have the trains, um, train noises come in. Okay, I've got all the sound effects in place here. Let's have a, a listen now. Okay, so the last thing I need to do is um, either find a sound effect for this Mexico text that comes in or just retime it. I think I'm just gonna retime it back or move it back and probably not have it come in letter by letter because um, it's kind of interfering with the digital beeps. All right, now I'm gonna lay, actually lay in all three of these music tracks. So I'm gonna drop in one at the bottom here and just make sure that it's... Okay, so that's the first one. This one's called Glass. And I have another one called Molecule. And this one actually starts a little bit later. So let's go make sure that it's at a good spot where it's. And 
And then last but not least, I'm going to drop null. And this one also starts a good ways off. So now what I can do to quickly test these out is to just solo um, each one. Or actually, I can mute all three, and then I'll unmute. Those beeps are really loud. I'm going to bring those beeps down. Okay, I definitely don't like this glass track. Um, well, they're all a little too loud. So let's go. Let's go over to A seven. So it's A7, A8, and 9. I'm going to turn all these down because you want the music tracks just in the background. We don't want them overbearing. So I'm bring them down to like negative 13, probably even lower than that. I like this one. I don't know. I, okay, I definitely don't like this glass one. It sounds too like investigative journalist. It's like we're studying the the drug routes from Mexico into the United States. So I'm gonna ax that one. I think this one's a little too dreamy. Okay, so I'll go with this one. Molecule. And I'm going to go ahead and leave the null track in there. And what I'm going to do is I'll make two versions and then I'm going to export both of them, send them both to the client. And then um, I'll say, hey, I prefer this this track, Molecule. and um, But here are the two that are the, the finalist. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this little workflow breakdown. If you did and you happen to like Artlist and you want to check it out, um, again, my affiliate link is down in the video description. And if you sign up with that link, you're going to get two extra months for free. And stay tuned because in the next video, I'm going to talk about Artgrid, which is like the stock video side of this company. I'm going to download some clips, make some more cool maps. So be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell.